Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be super quick and informal. I'm going to be doing an applique adult sweatshirt, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to be using is I have a Gildan, um, I think it's an 1800 heavy blend sweatshirt. This is from JiffyShirts.com. It is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I've also sublimated these. These sublimate great, um, but we're going to imported them today and I have tacked some silky soft and sheer cutaway stabilizer um, to the inside already as you saw my live I didn't get to finish the sweatshirt so that's what we're doing right now I used some 505 spray and um, just stuck that on all right then we've got our fabric with um, this is from Hobby Lobby and it's already got the heat and bond light on it, so it is prepped and ready to go. We've got our thread on the machine. We've got our mama design, and I'll link both those fonts um, in the description box below. So, it's gonna be a simple one fabric applique, good old one fabric applique, and then a beautiful font below. I'm excited to add some adult stuff to my shops. Let's go ahead and get it hooped and on the Melco. Okay, so I have already figured out where my center was. I've used um, this Yurbani placement tool and figured out that um, it needs to be about three to three and a half inches down, which puts me right here at this mark right here, or about four fingers down. And we're gonna use our eight by 13 mighty hoop today. All right, let's get it in. And we're just gonna place it in. Okay. And I'm just finding my center and making sure everything's nice and even, making sure my stabilizer looks good. And I'm gonna wanna push it down a little bit because we're gonna need that's going to be the top and this is around the bottom. So we're going to want to push it down to make sure leave in some clearance. All right. Okay. Let's get it on the machine. Okay, so it is the next day. Ignore the face. This is what it looks like most of the time when I board her. I have no makeup on. I've got everything on the machine. I didn't get to finish it the other day when I was working on it. So I had to reduce um, my size down a little bit. So let's get it stitched in. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace it um, just to make sure. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just adding all of my stops in. Um, you can see I'm adding some applique steps in just so I can cut and trim and place my fabric. So I'm gonna go through this whole thing. And this last two steps are gonna be the, um, the font, so I'm just gonna make those the color. So I'm just placing the fabric where I want it over the spot. And I have not pre-cut these, um, I'm just doing Good old fashioned cutting. Right, now it stops so I can trim it and we're going to keep going. I'm going to get in the nooks and crannies. Okay, so you can see I had to take it off the machine because I have to get in these nooks and crannies. Let's get it back on the machine. All 
Okay, that's the beauty of putting in the applique stops is it comes out every time you need to place the fabric so you don't have to just stand by and babysit your machine. Okay, so it just finished. So let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I'm just gonna take, I just chose to put water soluble topper or salvi on top of these stitches just to make them pop a little more. Um, I don't put them on the applique cause that would just be a nightmare trying to get in all those little rivets. But what do you think? It looks so good. I'm so excited to add these to my shop. So I'm gonna add different versions for different um, like Mama, Nana, Mama, and um, I'm gonna probably do a sample with like a four name and um, show how it, if they have a whole bunch of grandkids, how the be line stack. Okay, so let's see how it looked. The Mighty Hoop was awesome. I did have to reduce again my stitch field. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Let me try it on. Okay, so I haven't pressed it yet, but look how cute. I'm excited to add this to my shop, some adult stuff. Again, it's like four fingers down, a perfect set. And I'm wearing a size medium. This is the Jiffy Shirt um, 1800 uh, crew neck sweatshirt. So cute. I think some mamas and nanas will love this. So I will put the link to my Etsy shop below if you want to buy one. But if not, if you want to make one, I'll link everything I used today um, in the description box below. Sorry for the informal hot mess video. With this. this is how I look most of the time when I'm embroidering. So I just wanted to give you a real life view of a tutorial. Mama sweatshirts that are super popular right now. You can make them with all different sayings, whatever your language is. Or um, your little word you have for your grandma. So... Until next time, thank you so much for watching and make sure to give me a thumbs up. That helps me so much and make sure you hit subscribe because you don't want to miss out. Bye for now.